WRL was on the air for nearly six hours the night of the Raleigh mass shooting. Sky 5 giving us this perspective, this bird's eye view, as officers track down the suspect. But it could only go so far. And tonight, newly released body camera video shows the tense and chaotic moments that we could not see from on the ground, and including an officer being shot and others firing back. WRL's Joe Fisher has been sifting through these videos for us all day. He also spoke with a law enforcement expert to explain what these videos reveal about the search and the investigation. Joe, this is quite compelling. Gerald, dozens of shots were fired in about 15 seconds. Some people might find this all pretty hard to watch. Police had been searching for the suspect for about an hour and a half that day back on October 13th. And when they finally found him, they say the 15 year old opened fire. Yeah, like, let's, let's push. Officers hop this fence with guns drawn, looking for the suspect in this shed, when all of the sudden, two officers and four deputies returned fire. One bullet fired by the suspect knocked RPD officer Casey Clark to the ground. Where is he hit? Right knee. All right, put his tourniquet on. But it just shows you how training comes into play because you see all these up when that shots fired all these officers react as they tended to the injured officer others secured the perimeter yeah we have not had anybody come out from where your shots fired came from in my opinion watching the video he's laying in wait just for them to get get there where he could you know try to kill another one Officers and canines had been following the suspect's track for an hour and a half. First Police say 15-year-old Austin Thompson killed his brother and four neighbors in Headingham. After the exchange of gunfire, police kept a distance. Right, we need to start making arrangements. We think he may be in a, in a building here. We need to start making arrangements for somebody to retrieve the bear. Uh, and we're probably going to have to pull the bear down the driveway to make an approach on this. Moving in on him at that moment is not one of their priorities because that puts all of them in danger as well as that injured officer that's laying on the ground. The suspect was finally taken into custody after a three hour standoff. And outside of these videos released today by Raleigh Police, WREL also obtained a photograph that some will certainly find disturbing. This is a picture of the suspect, Austin Thompson, between the time he fired shots at police and when he was finally taken into custody. So let's go ahead and show you that picture. On the left, you can see the robot that was sent in by law enforcement. And on the right, you can see Thompson sitting up clearly wounded by this time. After spending a month in the hospital, the 15-year-old was transferred to a juvenile detention facility where he still is awaiting a first appearance in juvenile court. New tonight, we can confirm four Wake County deputies who fired their weapons have been cleared to return to work. At last check, Raleigh police say two of their officers remain on administrative leave per standard protocol.